Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is the first in a new series of trying one new indie brand a month. Um, I chose SMB Beauty to be January's. I am actually filming this on the last day of January. Fingers crossed I can get it up tonight, if not it'll be tomorrow. But it's filmed in January. I'm trying them in January. Um, I fell in love with this brand doing my new releases and sneak peeks, the heart shaped pans. So I had to place an order and they very kindly popped in some free gifts for me, um, which I'll let you know what they are as we go through. So I picked up the Z palette. They didn't come in. <laughs> I put them in the Z palette. I picked up all but this one. This one here was a gift. Um, so they're all like shimmery goodness duochromes and they're only two pound fifty each two pound fifty um so i will swatch all of those for you in just a moment and also oh guys seriously this packaging just wow so their cream highlighters come in little light bulbs <laughs> how adorable are they i've got this one is Snowflake and this one is Lavender Snow. I will swatch these also. Super exciting. Um, these you can get, um, I believe, in a combo with one of these and a loose highlighter for £6. Um, you can also buy the set of the cream highlighters. And I can't remember. I think it's £25. Don't quote me on that. I will have SB Beauty's website linked in the description box below. They have a new collection launching tomorrow as I'm filming this, February the 1st. Um, and you can use code PRIDE to get a 10% discount. They have their new website up and running, so it's a lot easier to work your way around. I love the look of it. So I'm going to start on the swatching and I'm going to swatch these. I'll let you know which one what the name of it is as I go. Um, so yeah, super excited that my first try is a UK indie brand. So I am first going to swatch, this is Blitzen. And they feel slightly more creamy, is that the word? Like a slightly tacky, creamy. And this here, Ooh, it's blitzing. My swatches are terrible. I can't see what I'm doing, so apologies. But this is blitzing. I can't even see what the colour is. Look, look at that. Beautiful. Um. Next up is Mr. Claus. <laughs> These are so cute. I love the names. Um. Again, this one does feel more like that cream cream to powder formula and this is beautiful. <laughs> please excuse my terrible swatches but oh, look at that beautiful feeling these i think they may apply better with fingers i'm gonna try various different techniques because this is a formula that is new to me don't mind that at all and then we have zombie flesh <laughs> the name sold me and obviously the fact that it's green um because we know i love my greens so this is <laughs> zombie flesh <laughs> oh my word oh look at that so pretty next up we have rudolph i did i do have a few of the reindeer ones maybe all of them i'm not 100 percent sure i know I've a few of the them ones this one feels a lot drier i'm pretty sure this is the highlighter yeah so i know that at least one that i ordered was a highlighter um but I didn't think to check before filming. I just got, I got so excited. Um, beautiful. So I'll definitely be trying that on my face today. Next up we have spell casting. 
This one looks stunning. And this here is, look at that. Again, my swatches are terrible, apologies, but wow. How beautiful is that? And the next one up is Donna, and this is the one that I was gifted. <laughs> Crikey. Please excuse next door shouting at their dog. That there is Donna, beautiful gold. Stunning. I'm definitely going to have a hard time choosing which ones of these are going to go on my eyes. I did pop some mattes on from the September Rose Cosmetics Slush Palette. So I'd use another UK indie brand. The next up is Diana. This one looks stunning. That last one was a slightly flakier, soft cream feel. I don't know how to describe the feel of these. It's so unusual. So what did I say this one was called? Diana. <laughs> I've had a brain would be dangerous. And this here is Diana. Oh my word. Oh, she pretty. Look at that. I love that kind of silvery grey toned purple. It's one of my absolute favourites. I'm not going to have room for all of these on my arm. I might have to switch to some on the back of my hand at this rate. <laughs> and next one we have is Cupid. Oh, this looks so pretty too. And this here. Oh, I think I dug into it a little bit too much. So there we have Cupid. How beautiful is that? And moving on. This is Peach Lemonade. I do love these names. Awesome. And... Ooh, do it so that I can see what I'm doing. That, that is Peach Lemonade. Then next up is Dasha. Another one of the reindeer. I think their new collection coming out tomorrow, launching tomorrow, is like more of a Valentine's collection. I think it's Be, Be Your Heart's Desire, if I remember rightly. So this here is, did I say Dancer or Dasha? I can't remember now. I'm so bad. Dasha. Literally, that's how bad my memory is. I say something and I forget instantly. So there's Dasha. How am I going to choose what ones to stick on my eyes? Wow. And then, oh, this one I know I'm putting on my eyes. So this is Neptune. Look at that. It's a, oh, this is a really beautiful geochrome. Like, you can see the duochrominess quite strong in the pan. Um, so, let's... Wow. Look at that. Yeah, I definitely was not born to swatch, so you're just going to have to bear with on that. Um, but, oh, look at that. That one, 100%, will be going on my eyes today. And then next up is Comets. All of these bottom ones are more greens and blues. If you know me, you will you will get that. So this check I can see what I'm doing. Oh look at that. There's Comet stunning that real minty beautiful absolutely beautiful and then we have it's a bling thing these names are so good 
Ooh, I think I've taken way too much of my finger there, but here we have it's a bling thing. Swatch that a bit better, Steph. So there we have it's a bling thing. Just stunning. These these shades. I love the tones of these. They're just wow. Oh, I've only got two more, so I'm just going to fit them on. Just, I think. Yes. So, next up we have Frosty. Um, really looks, lives up. Looks, I think it's the perfect name for this shade. So, this is oh, Frosty. Beautiful. Wow. And then last but not least, this is Prancer. And um, I've been dying to see what this shade looks like. Oh. Um, all right, let's, we're gonna have to, well, well, I'm gonna be really awkward and do it here. So, just so that I can, see them all together and you can see them all together so that one there is prancer again i forget straight away so these are all of the beautiful beautiful shades i have to try um obviously i'm not going to get all of these on my eyeballs today but yeah i'm gonna oh i'm so excited i don't know which ones to choose I have no idea and then for the two liquid highlighters I'm first going to swatch snowflake which is the white looking one how cute is that <laughs> so I'm gonna pop some of that on my hand there and that's just I'm swatching it on with the thing and then I'm just going to kind of pat it out a bit. So this here, look at that. That snowflake, beautiful. And then we have lavender snow. I just, I can't get over these components. They are super, super cute. And then I'm just gonna pop a bit of that there. These were both gifted to me and they were the first thing I saw when I opened the package. I could not believe how super cute that packaging was. So just tap that out a bit. And there we have Lavender Snow. How beautiful do they look? Oh, okay, guys. So I'm going to nip off and get my arm cleaned up, decide what ones I want to try, and then we'll continue. So just stay there a moment. Okay guys, so I've decided the shades I'm using for this eye at least. So I am first going to use Neptune. And I'm gonna try first by taking it on this Altitude Cosmetics flat brush. So I want to see how they apply with a brush. Well, it's picking up. So let's have a look. So I'm going to place this one on the very outer part, the very outer part of my lid there. Because of the texture of them, I didn't think they would need a glitter primer and I think I'm pretty right. That's pretty. I do love the look of that. So now I am going to try taking a bit on my finger and I'm going to apply it with my finger to see. Yeah. Okay. It, they definitely apply a lot better with the finger. 
I did wonder they probably would apply well with a sponge tip applicator but I don't have any of them but yeah oh look at the difference now definitely apply with your finger okay that's that's a really pretty shade really pretty shade and then I think hmm Oh, crikey. I think I'm going to use Prancer for the inner part. And I'm going to take that on my little finger. And... Yeah, if you don't like using your fingers, then I would definitely suggest sponge tip. Sponge tip applicators. So I'm just going to tap that slightly into the other one. Ooh, these are two pound fifty each, and you can choose to have them in circular pans if you want. I just the heart shaped pans are what got me. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I love those. They're pretty. I'm just going to grab just the brush I used with the the blue mat on and just to go back into the outer V slightly oh look at that that is pretty that is pretty okay okay right for this eye I I've got to use this. I really I'm desperate to. So I'm definitely using Diana. It's got to be done, guys. So let's let's have a see. Ooh. Okay. Beautiful silvery, silvery purple, silvery grey purple. Oh, look at that. Look at that colour. Oh, gotta love it. And then I'm using spell casting. These names, they're so cool. And And I'm going to pop that on the inner part. Oh my word. You have to excuse, I'm not used to, I don't often use my fingers to apply stuff. But I will do whatever is needed for the formula. And that is pretty. Again, two pound fifty. Wow. They look pretty. And then just taking, oh crikey, <laughs> to brush with a deeper shade, the purple on this side. Just going to go back into that outer V. Please excuse next door's dog barking if you can hear him. We're having work done across the road while they're building apartments, so it's setting the dogs off. Okay. I'm loving how they're looking. So I'm going to quickly nip off and do my base. I'll come back. Um, we'll pop some colour. Colour? Pop some more on the lower lash line, inner corner, brow bone, etc. And use the cream highlight liquid highlight so yes stay where you are guys okay so I've got my base on time for cream highlight I haven't powdered down yet obviously because I'm using these so on this side of my face I'm going to use snowflake so I'm just going to pop a little bit on my hand here and then using my finger I'm just going to Dab 
Not all I've got. All I've got. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I've done so much swatching and that that I've got <laughs> nail varnish, eyeshadow up all of my nails. That is pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more. As we know, I love my highlight. Oh, that looks super pretty. I do like that a lot. It's not lifted up any of my makeup. Okay. The component. Seri Seriously, guys. So, lavender snow for this side. And again, just popping some on my hand. Again, just using my finger. And I'm going to dab that everywhere everywhere around here i don't know where i'm just why i'm just peering off camera there so apologies that is so pretty yeah as you're doing it it kind of feels a little tacky and you think, oh, is it pulling my makeup up? But it's not. It's just gone on beautifully. Let me know what you guys think. I I love the look of this so far. Right, I'm just going to quickly powder everything down and then we'll do under eyes. Well, yeah. So, just a second. I'm going to use my HMB Cosmetics. Soft Focus Loose Powder, another UK indie brand. So yes. Okay, so I've again used mattes from the September Rose Cosmetics Slush Palette because it's a UK indie brand. Um, so what do I want to pop under my eyes? I think for this side, I'm going to use Frosty. So let's get a little brush. I'm going to use one of these tiny pencil brushes because I think that is going to work with these. So let's, yeah. Yeah, that's working. Pretty. I'm just trying to use as many as I can, really. Ooh. Cool. and then I'm just going to wipe that brush off and I'm going to go into zombie flesh <laughs> such a cool name and then I'm going to take that just down a little bit further see what I'm doing hopefully yeah this little tiny pencil brush is definitely helping it's not I can't really do under my eyes with my fingers because I will be wearing it all over my face yeah that's pretty I like that and I do have another one of them and another one ready for the other side so what do I want to use I'm going to go in with Mr. Claus first and pop that right up against the lash line there. 
Again, apologies for next door's dog. <laughs> He's another pup, like Jace. He's a little bit older than Jace, so. So now Jace wants to go and have a see what he's fucking up. Good boy. So yeah, they will pick up on a brush. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to go into Cupid. These names are just brilliant, aren't they? And I'm going to take that just down here. Ooh. And back into nest claws. Make sure we don't cover that over. Ooh, that's nice. Um, I'm going to use the highlighter in here. I'm sure it's a highlighter. I will check. Uh, Rudolph, anyways. This one feels more like a highlighter. I'm going to use that for my inner corner on both sides. Inner corner and brow bone. Because I love green and blue with pink. So I think that's going to look pretty. Anyways... And yeah, that's pretty. And then a bit up under my brow. Well, Steph, a bit, a bit. I kind of went for it there, didn't I? I have definitely gone way, way OTT up here. Let's just soften that a bit. Just a clean brush, that's better. <laughs> I got a bit carried away, which anyone that knows me will not be surprised at that. And then just the same on this side. Yeah, this is, it's beautiful. That shade. And then a little bit under the brows there. Again. Steph didn't get the memo. <laughs> Where did I put the clean brush that I just used? Ah. Oh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Just blend that a bit. Beautiful. I love the look of these. And then I'm going to use that highlighter, obviously, for face highlight. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that is pretty. Look at that glow. And then same on this side. So obviously it's going over those uh, liquid highlighters and yeah, it just it looks beautiful both sides. Oh, next door's pup's howling now. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear that. If you can, I'm sorry. Ooh. Yes, that is pretty. Okay, guys, so I'm going to nip off and finish my face. I'm going to slam that Z pad shut. Z pad? Okay, guys, so I'm going to nip off and finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and have a chat with you about my first thoughts on these products. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so here are my finished looks. We have look one and look two. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. 
everything else I've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below and SMB Beauty's website will also be linked. Remember code PRIDE will get you 10% off and I'm just going to talk about what I think. Um, so the liquid highlighters, oh my god, the, these components are just the cutest, the cutest and whoever thought this up is a genius. Light bulb highlight, you probably got that before I did. Um, but they applied beautifully, they didn't lift my foundation, they powdered down nice, I've no complaints with them whatsoever and super, super happy to have them and super grateful that they were gifted to me to try. So, that's Mr. Fluff shouting. Um, the single shadows and highlight, oh my god, the highlighter, well, I'm assuming I've got that right and it's highlighter, but that's what I've used it as and that's what it looks stunning as, so, um, yeah, loved it. The texture is different, it, it's different to any I've tried before, um, it's slightly tacky, I don't know how to explain it, but they look beautiful, as you can see, they look stunning, they're not your super sparkle, but they're really really pretty and the shifty ones you can see the shifts and the heart shaped pans oh my god i love the heart shaped pans and when i pick up some more i will definitely be getting the heart shaped pans because they just look super super cute please excuse mr fluff the only say complaint it's not even a complaint the the one thing feedback I would give is that I had to take the sticker off of the pouch that the shadow came in and then stick that on the back so the one thing I would um, ask for in future is that they maybe have the names printed on the back of the pans or have a sticker with the name on on the back of the pans um, but yeah it was easy enough for me to get some sellotape and just stick them to the back um, so that's just being a little bit picky but yeah, I'm super happy and £2.50 each, guys. I, mind blown, mind blown, £2.50. Um, for that, I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So another UK indie brand that I'm super excited by. Um, 1st of February is their new launch, um, your, your Heart's Desire. It's something like that. My memory is horrendous, as you have probably spotted by now. Um, but yeah, another just really beautiful UK indie brand. Super excited to have tried and super excited to try more. So guys, if you're wanting to pick any of these things up, the website will be linked in the description box below. Please remember to use code PRIDE to get yourself a 10% discount percent discount on two pound fifty eyeshadows wow um so yeah this is january's first first january's trying new a new indie brand i'll get there eventually january's trying a new indie brand s b cosmetics let me know what you guys think have you tried this brand do you want to let's have a chat in the comment section below if you are new around here, if you like colourful makeup looks and seeing indie brands being shown because that's where my heart lies. Um, I am also running a Steph Does Neutral series where I'm attempting to love browns. We shall see how that goes. If all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button. Come and join my beautiful chameleon family. Um, we have a great time. I love them. I'm biased but I have the best, the best subscribers ever. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I really, really appreciate it and I really hope you've had a good time, as much of a good time as I have. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye. Stepping in the spa like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my, yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like.
like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do by?